Hi guys, uh, this is Kurt, Oscar November 7, Oscar Fox Fox, and uh, this is video number 5 in the series From Zero to Hero with the Hermes Light. Um, if you haven't seen the other videos, please uh, go and watch the other videos first, because otherwise you will be completely confused, as uh, Titis is a quite complicated software, and I prefer that you have all the basics before we go any further. Uh, this video I will uh, explain in details the configurations that I have done on my Titis, uh, so it's also a little bit of personal preference that I have. Uh, but uh, maybe from here on you can copy these settings and uh, you can experiment with the uh, TT software and personalize it to your taste. Um, let me go to the setup menu and I will modify a few configurations um, and I will go through the different uh, tabulators here and uh, just um, configure it to my personal preferences. So uh, we have already uh, done these ones over here. Now, if you want to remote into your Hermes Lite from another network, please be aware that you need to enable static IP address and disable limit to subnet. So just be aware of that. In uh, this case, we're not going to do it. I will go to the options menu uh, straight away and I will enable a couple of things. Now, if you go with the mouse over the different uh, things. Uh, you will have some explanations, so I'm not going to repeat what is printed uh, here when you hover over the uh, different uh, buttons here. But I'm just gonna quickly configure uh, the different things for this Hermes, so it's going to work perfectly for my uh, taste and uh, maybe you can uh, just uh, copy uh, these settings as we go um, and uh, uh, maybe you will continue from there. I'm going to sn click snap click uh, tune okay I'm also going to enable VFO links C tune um, I've got my call sign here already and I'm going to prioritize uh, the uh, process of the TTS here to real time uh, because it requires quite a lot of bandwidth and I don't want to have dropped frames. The next thing I'm going to do is go to options uh, number two and I will enable the QSO timer. This is when you talk, you will see a little timer here at the bottom. Uh, of your TITES when you're talking how long you've been transmitting in one go um, and I'm enabling these things I'm going to also swap the blue and I like this um, swapping the blue and the red it's per personal preference uh, there you go and uh, the next thing is also quick split this is something that is interesting I'm going to uh, put this to 5000, so when you click the quick split, it will do an offset of uh, 5000 kilohertz um, right away. Interesting, uh, with, because in general, when you're in an, the expedition or something, they will always say, like, uh, listening 5 up. So this is what I'm doing here, is quickly configure uh, listening 5 up. The next thing I will do is go to HL uh, options. Um, I will do a couple of configurations here. Uh, this is to enable pure signaling. So TX latency, I'll put it on uh, 70 and here I put it on 30 PTT hang. Uh, don't ask me questions uh, about this, but this is what is mentioned in the uh, manual uh, to configure uh, Tethys, so it's uh, going to work perfectly with the uh, um, pure signal. I will explain you pure signal in the uh, next video. Uh, then I will go to calibration and uh, you could eventually uh, do a frequency calibration. So how does this work? Uh, let me click on o apply and OK. I will turn on the radio and uh, in my case I have a uh, good receive, I am on my beam antenna 
for 20 up to 10 meters so 10 megahertz would be a good option so i will go to setup again and i will start the calibration what this does is actually it's going to calibrate your hermes light and put it right on the right frequency so uh, there is a carrier uh, on 10 megahertz it's going to listen to the carrier and it will actually calibrate the frequency of your hermes light and as you can see there is a little correction factor here uh, so if i would reset it and i start again it's going to calibrate and apparently my transceiver is a little bit uh, off frequency and it's going to actually uh, configure the right settings here so you are right in middle on the frequency please do not click on start here because if you do so this is going to calibrate the signal meter and i can definitely tell you that when you do this you will have a very weird signal readouts so if you happen to push on the start and you do this you might just bump into issues and uh, be aware of uh, the uh, issues that come when you do that okay um, let me see what else i should do filters oc control that's done uh, no things to be configured over here and then we go to rx2 these are my settings and then we go to audio um, this one is going to be an interesting one uh, maybe one thing i could do let me just go back uh, where do i have the configuration for the swr and as you can see me even me who has been using uh did this for a very extended time i'm also sometimes a little bit lost in the software uh it is a very complicated uh software so i think it's an antenna filters yeah this is something i i also recommend when you go to antenna filters enable these two here uh and this will actually um limit the power uh, uh, and also it will protect your uh, uh, Hermes when you have a bad SWR um, ATT on TX that's also a good thing to do it will enable the attenuator when you are TXing for your uh, receive scope and then force ATT to T on TX to 31 when drive uh, or tune power is increased and PSA is on okay so these things are enabled in my case the next thing I would do is go to audio and we have handled the VAC already but I'm going to disable and enable a couple of things so I've got the buffer size at uh, the default settings here 48,000 sample rate I'm going to disable these and I'm going to enable the bypass VAC and I'm also going to mute, will mute VAC. This will actually enable the button mute here. Okay. Uh, so um, I uh, uh, prefer uh, the automatic control. Uh, so I'm just going to disable these settings here. And uh, this I will just put on auto as well. Um, next thing I want to do is go to the options here and i'm going to enable the master af and rx and the other uh, overflow underflow click to clear i will explain you in a second what this means um, next configuration uh, let me see how many uh, minutes we are already doing this uh, session of the tutorial uh, is uh, going to uh, options here okay going to display I'll do a couple of configurations over here as well. Uh, let me see if I have these correctly. Fill pen adapter is perfect. Uh, I'm going to enable the pen adapter peak blobs um, and I'll put it at three, that's good. I'll also keep the peak hold, 2000 is good and I'll put the drop. I will explain, explain you what it does is actually 
when you have uh, peaks here uh, you will actually have a little blob that you can enable and uh, you see it right here and it will uh, just peak and keep the peak for a second so you can see where there is activity on the band um, yeah I'm going to enable this one as well and uh, the scope mode let me put it at 45 milliseconds that would be perfect show temperature small mode filter on VFO I'll then show filter small uh, small model mode filter on VFO and show addition I will enable this one too I will also uh, give it a high priority here and I will enable all these items here as well and let me go to TX for a second uh, I'll move this slider a little bit to the right um, and I'm just configuring very quickly this uh, Hermes light don't worry you don't need to know everything the only thing I recommend you to do is just copy my settings um, okay and then the next thing I need to do is the waterfall here I have it in TX mode okay let me just turn off okay and I think I'm okay now so yeah uh, there you go I'll do the fill this will fill actually um, okay let me just 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 see fill it will fill this up normally okay so anyway ground floor noise this will display the ground floor noise I will like to have this one enabled as well and uh, noise floor compensation as well I'll put this to 95 something like that so I'm just going very quickly over the different settings here and uh, I will also automatically adjust okay so with these settings and let me go to TX as well do the configuration over here um, there you go yeah I think this is okay this is a good starting point for you guys if you want to uh, start with uh, uh, the TT software okay let me go to DSP I'll do a few more configurations because I'm almost at 15 minutes um, yeah here I will modify quite a lot so I will put the buffer size to 128 now these settings they depend on the processing power of your computer I'm going to use the settings that I uh, prefer for my computer here uh, it's a quite high-end computer so I can fool around with these I'm going to put this RX in the lower it will um, get rid of this metallic kind of a sound this in the TX mode I will put it to 8192 because it will make my audio very very rich very very rich so it makes the audio more interesting also in the FM mode I will put it at 124 124 yeah this I will put to linear phase also to get rid of this metallic sound uh, linear phase this I will leave at low latency and I will put this to BH4 okay so uh, this is a very good starting point if you are starting off with uh, Thetis I'm just checking if I have everything the way that I want to have it I will now go to ALC and I will also do a couple of configurations over here so there you are I'll put uh, the AGC gain to let's say uh, 116 that's perfect and this one is 90 in my personal preference and then the micro microphone gain I'll put it to 10 dB ALC 5 dB or 4 or 5 something like that I'll put this uh, to 10 milliseconds and uh, the fixed gain I'll put it to 49er if I'm not mistaken that's a good value and this one I'll put it to 16 all the rest I will leave the way it is uh, so and now I will just do one more 
configuration, I think. I think we are more or less through the configuration. This should be the best initial configuration for uh, Titis. I am intentionally not going through CFC. I will explain you in a different video uh, for the audio chain, uh, what can be done. Um, now that you have done all these configurations, you can save these settings of Titis. Now, if you change anything, uh, you will be able to see which of the settings have been changed. If you want to save settings in Tethys, unless you have saved it here, if you go and leave Tethys and you come back again, all the settings will be reset. So click on the save button, give it your call sign, for example, I'll call it ON7OFF, uh, CFG, whatever name you want to give it, or I'll give it ON7OF-1. That's the first configuration. I click OK, and this will actually save the settings. And you will see that this yellow uh, mark here is gone. So um, I am just going to do a couple of modifications here. So follow along. I will enable these. I will disable the 20 dB. This here will be the slider of my uh, microphone gain. I am going to put it uh, between this and uh, minus 10, for example, minus 10 dB. And I will also enable CESSB overshoot control. I will do another separate video. I also ignore master AF. I will do a separate video um, uh, regarding all these settings. Uh, this, I like to have it on 85. Uh, sorry, AD5. Um, okay, this is the initial uh, settings for uh, your Tethys. So click on save, and uh, I recommend you to start with these settings. Okay, in the next video, I will explain you uh, what are my audio settings uh, for my beautiful ESSB. Now, be aware that my audio settings are actually the audio settings for the F-Use microphone, which is the go-to microphone uh, for the Hermes Light. It's a USB microphone. You don't need to have a phantom power uh, device or whatsoever. And it seems that these uh, microphones are very good in uh, um, RFI um, issues. So it does not seem to or I have never had any RFI issues with this microphone anyway. The only RFI issues that I have experienced is on my network card, but that's another issue. Okay, I hope this was useful. Uh, copy these settings and start to uh, configure your uh, TT software from all the settings that I have showed you so far. Uh, thanks, 70 trees, and uh, hopefully see you in the next video.